back to the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. And for me, it wouldn't be a Giulia Quadrifoglio unless it was absolutely chucking it down with rain. Yes, that's right. Subscribers of the channel will know that when I had this car last year, it rained every single day that I had it. Now, I'm hopeful that the rain will stop because I do have this car for a little bit over a week and a half. So I've got two weekends out of it, which I'm very excited about because one, the Giulia Quadrifoglio is uh, at the moment probably one of my favorite cars. I'm not gonna lie, I love this car so much. For those who don't know much about this car, this car is a 2.9 liter V6 bi-turbo running over 500 horsepower through the rear wheels. I do have P0 Corsa tires on, which is fantastic. It's chucking it down with rain, so uh, we won't be accelerating hard right now at least. But one of the real reasons for me wanting to have this car back from Alfa Romeo was to, to experience it again because I do have a bit of a love affair with this car. The second one, as you saw from the intro, is that uh, Thames Group have very kindly invited me and the missus down uh, to experience some of the Alfa Romeo range, take part in a bit of clay pigeon shooting, um, although I'm not sure how that's going to go today. Um, I mean, we are literally in hurricane weather. It's really bad. Um, but also next week, uh, which I don't know how that will work in terms of video order, next week I'm going off to Italy, uh, Bari to be exact, with Alfa Romeo, although I'm not really allowed to say much about it at the moment due to embargo reasons. But I will be bringing you guys along with me on the journey. I will be taking this Giulia all the way to the airport, jumping on a plane, uh, going to Italy and showing you all kind of the lifestyle behind the scenes of that and then once the embargo lifts I will be able to share with you what it is I'm off to film But right now what we're doing we're on our way over to uh, somewhere up in High Wycombe uh, We're gonna catch up with the guys from uh, Thames group and I'm gonna see basically a bit of the lineup what they've got I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and um, we'll try I think try being the key word to create some content in this absolutely horrendous weather Okay, so we part the Julia up and if you like Julia's there you go guys. We have a number of cars here to play around. We've got loads of the Alfa Romeo range. Julia looks amazing in black, by the way. Got three of them lined up. We've got Stelvios as well. If I look over that way, I've got Richard for one, but we've also got a whole load of Jeep lined up. We've got the Rubicons, the Saharas, the Wranglers. So they're all here to allow us to kind of explore the, uh, the kind of off-road course more than anything. But as I'm sure all of you guys are aware, I am a massive fan of well everything alpha i own a 4c and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe for plenty of automotive content because uh, we do all that stuff but also over my left shoulder a very very nice display of julia and stelvio so the kind of theme of today the thing what we'll be doing today is uh, we'll be able to take some of these cars out the bit i'm quite interested in is we're going to do a bit of clay pigeon shooting so i've never done that before so i'm going to bring you guys along for that so uh i'm ready to shoot stuff i'm not very <laughs> i'm like a cross between edgar davids and billy the kid over here but um, yeah, this should be um, this should be pretty cool. So we're heading down. Uh, we're at the Churchill Estate here in High Wycombe, um, which is very nice. So we've got the afternoon session to go out driving. Um, I would, I, we're going to be able to kind of take the Jeeps and the Julias around the estate. So it'd be cool to show you that. Um, and I know you probably can't take me seriously right now with these bad boys on, but apparently we've got to wear them and I've got some earplugs too. But we're on route to shoot stuff, so let's see how I get on. <laughs> It's a mental experience. I've got my, my little souvenir here. It's actually a lot harder than you think. And granted, these are shotguns, so the kind of spray of, of gunpowder is uh, is a lot more, but you can feel it right on your shoulder. And not ever doing something like this before, it's a very cool experience. The camera probably won't be showing just how cool it is, but really enjoyed it. Did all right with that one. A little bit harder, but quite happy with that. I'll tell you what, my arm will hurt by the, tomorrow morning. I'm pretty sure of that. That's really good fun. 
really good fun. Um, I just thought I'd kind of take a quick look and compare, I guess, the Julia. We've got three here and the Stelvio because a few people have driven the Stelvio today and the Julia and actually I'm going to put it out there that I think in weather like today the Stelvio is going to be the better car because of the four-wheel drive platform and actually you can put that into race uh, and you can actually enjoy yourself today whereas with these unfortunately you put this into race unless your driving ability is uh, top-notch um, you're going to put it into a, a fence or a field or something if I had to only choose one um, Stelvio or Julia I would always take the Julia and if space is an issue then put a roof box on it or something but I just think the look of the Julia for me just looks better interesting as well with the different contrast in wheel design so on this one here they are both they're both 19s except these ones look a lot smaller uh, and I'm not necessarily sure that I like those wheels as much as the kind of tele dial style wheels I think they just look superb also two different colors as well so that's a bit more burgundy which is the same color as the one that I've got at the moment and this is a lot more red. I think this is under the Rosso Competizione colour. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong down below. I've talked about the black one. I do like the black one. I think that looks super, super nice. And interestingly as well, this is a very similar setup to my 4C with a black car and the silver wheels. Now, I think that it would work better if it was black car with silver wheels, but those wheels, potentially. These ones here... I loved driving this car. Uh, whenever I see this, I always get a bit upset because it was the video I put so much time and effort into that nobody actually watched. <laughs> but these were amazing. I took these around Scotland and driving this around the Highlands around there was amazing. And the thing that you get with this car is, uh, which definitely is obviously a plus point over that of the Julia, is that you'll drive this a lot harder because you've got a much higher viewpoint. Um, you can take kind of undulating corners a lot better than on the Julia. Um, and it absorbs the bumps a lot more as well. Obviously, we've got 20 inch wheels on the Stelvio. If I go around the back, um, just to give you a, a real a rear view of these cars, um, you can see they all look really good. For me, I think the spec on this is amazing. Uh, and I mean, on, the, on this one as well, we were definitely winning. If I quickly show you the inside, just so you can have a look. Uh, we've got the very, very nice interior here. We've got the kind of white and green uh, seats, which obviously complement very, very well the back, which is, of course, the carbon buckets. These are the seats to have if you're going to get a Julia. Granted, it's an optional action, you've got to pay more for it, but if, you've got to, if you're going to buy one, buy one with the, um, with the carbon buckets. It just looks amazeballs. We've just come back from that run and it was so cool. I had such a good time in that thing. And it just goes to show you don't have to drive fast all the time to have a good time. I really, really, really cool to drive that cheap wrangler around the estate. Well, that was such a cool day. Doing a bit of clay pigeon shooting, driving the Jeep off-road. It's starting to chuck it down. I've got the Julia Quadrifoglio here. We're ready to go home. And uh, I'm gonna jump in the car, give you a final debrief. Uh, but what a cool day, a very kind of vloggy video, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let's quickly jump in the car because it's starting to chuck it down with rain. Oh. There we go, back in the Julia. Warm, very nice. Um, but yeah, back in what I think is my favourite car. I love this so much. So I didn't actually drive this today, ironically, as you probably saw from some of the B-roll footage. I had a go in the Stelvio. Uh, actually, the off-roading in the Jeep was probably one of my favourite things from today. It was just so cool. And the estate and the route that they picked was just amazing. So a massive thank you to uh, Thames Group and, of course, Alfa Romeo UK, because they're going to work together on this. And uh, back in the Julia now on the course, which is quite hilarious, actually. You see the back go in there. It's just very difficult to lay power down on this thing, but uh, do you know what? It doesn't matter. 
Um, but I guess I haven't really talked too much about the Julia today, so whilst I'm in here, I might as well just give you a quick little flavour. Um, obviously, we're all aware what this is. It weighs about 1,500 kilos or just over uh, 1,500 kilos because of how much carbon fibre is on this car, which makes it such an appealing car from a performance perspective because not only do you have the power, but you also have the kind of lightweight ethos. I mean, I can see right now, I'm looking straight ahead of me, the whole of the bonnet is kind of carbon fibre. And also, I talk about my, the, you know, the, my favourite thing on this car, which is the steering. Um, I don't think there's a car out there at the moment that has steering just quite like the Julia and, and Stelvio, to be fair, because they both are so direct and the steering rack is just superb. I really, really love this car. But I have it for a couple of weeks, so I will do another video on this car for sure. Um, I will be going to Italy, as I said at the start of the video, with Alfa Romeo to explore something, uh, something new, which will be very cool, which you guys will all see uh, hopefully soon. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all very soon on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye -bye.